Alexa, feed Bella. All right, well, there you have it. This is the IoT cat feeder that I built. And I'm just going to go have a quick in, uh, overview of the components and how I did it. Um, I'll also have an instructable written up on the step-by-step -step on how to build this thing. It was not very difficult. Um, I didn't think so at least, and I found it actually quite fun. So, um, so let's see. So the box, the outside, this is just some, uh, some fiber board picked up from Home Depot. Um, nothing fancy and it's painted. So it's easy to clean, smooth wipes off. Um, I wanted something low maintenance. Uh, the hole in the side is the speaker. That's what makes the little melody that you heard at the beginning. Power cord comes out the back, can be plugged into a USB, um, a little USB um, outlet. You can also run it on battery power. I tested on battery power, and it was it was only giving me about three days, and I needed something to last a little bit longer, so I've just been plugging it in in the kitchen. Uh, this container uh, is basically this is basically a cereal dispenser. It holds about one week worth of cat food to feed our cat, which is perfect for us. Um, the components to this is really, like I said, the cereal dispenser. The microchip is a particle photon, the microcontroller. And then there's a servo, a digital servo, that turns the wheel to turn this rubber flat ball thing to basically, you know, dispense the food and it dispenses the servo turns, um, enough to dispense one section of the flap. So it's, it's very, it's, it's really good for, you know, a fat cat and you've got, uh, to, you know, work on portion control and whatnot. It dispenses the exact same amount of food every single time. So it's really good. It's, it, it meets our, uh, requirements perfectly. So um, I wanted something, uh, like I said, ease of maintenance. So this this box just slides right out. It can go in and out um, just like that. The servo mounted here on this side. Cereal dispenser mounted on the back. And then it attaches right here. If I can, if I can focus a little bit, there we go. Attaches to the wheel of the cereal dispenser. And the servo just turns the wheel. Very, very straightforward. Um, the wires going into the photon. You've got positive, negative, and a signal. And then you've got also, I've got two wires coming out of the photon going to, let's see if I can get it. Back there in the corner is the speaker. Let me walk around. And this is just a little buzzer. So very, very simple. Um, and, uh, and then inside, so the food slides down this ramp. I, I just, it's really made out of a tennis ball, uh, half of a tennis ball container, just cut up. And as you can see, I've already got a couple pieces of food down there that I need to clean up. But the, you know, the way this is all designed, it's very easy to maintain and clean. It's all painted, easy, easy to wipe off. And, um, and so, and this just slides right back inside, like so. Lid goes on the top. Oh, and it's got some notches in here on the lid so that it fits perfectly. Like so, then the lid so the dogs don't get in the food. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, I'll have a link to my instructable on how to build this thing. Um, like, comment, ask questions, and thanks for watching.